Hi everyone, it's Michaeleen with 3AM Grace Designs and today I wanted to do a short video on how to increase and decrease with C2C. Um, some supplies you'll need is you can go to the website um, www.3amgracedesigns.com and print off these two, I think it's a three page PDF that has the little graph for increasing and decreasing on a square and on a rectangle. Um, you need some yarn, doesn't matter what color, um, stitch marker if you'd like to mark your front, if I use a five millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors. Okay, all right, let's get started. Okay, so this video is assuming that you already know how to C to C, so I'm gonna do mini and um, I just really want to show you when you're looking at the graph or are written when you should decrease and increase. So right now we're doing row one right here, okay, and we're going up, okay. So like I have said before in our um, reading written's, you know that's up. My row one is always up. So I'm going to chain five, which I think I chained six. One, two, three, four. I did. And I'm going to do three half double crochets. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and do row two, all right, which is two reds. So I'm going to increase because I've gone from one to two. So I chain five. And I'm going to do my three half double crochets. One, two, and this is where I normally mark my front of my work for me and our Britons. My tail is always on the right, so I take my stitch marker here and I just mark the front. And I know that. That follows row one went up, and you see row two went down. Okay, so now I'm going to do row three, which is three. So I'm still increasing. Let's chain five. Okay, so I did row three. Alright. So now I'm going to do row four, which is still increasing. Alrighty. So my last three half doubles, row four. Okay. This is where I think people get confused. So I have done row four, which is right here, okay, or on the written right here. Um, so now I'm going to start decreasing. Our written says start decreasing both corners, okay, since this is a square, we would start decreasing on both corners here and here at the same time. So if you ever get confused when you're doing this, um, you're like, oh my gosh, do I do another one? If it's a bigger chart, you might count 
along the bottom. And that's why these numbers are here too. One, two, three, four. And you should only ever have that many across the bottom. So you can count your pixels. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Then you know you start decreasing. All right. So for my, I'm sure somebody's going to do decreasing different, but for me when I decrease, I don't chain. I just flip it. I slip stitch one, and then I slip stitch two to get me to this next part so that I can do row five. All right. So I'm going to start row five. So I decreased on this bottom corner first. So now, let me flip this over so you can see. Now I'm at the next corner that I was at, or, you know, on my graph, row four. So that's where, like on the written, it says start decreasing both corners or on the graph. I only have four. And another way you can be, you know, if you get, like, unsure of yourself on where you inc or decrease, then just count up the side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So now I know I need to start decreasing, okay? So I just slip stitch to join the two. Slip stitch one, slip stitch two, gets me to my next spot for my next pixel on row six. So I'm gonna chain two, okay? Do my three. Do the second pixel of row six. Okay, so row six is complete. All right, right there. So I'm going to slip stitch to that pixel to connect it and slip stitch up to my next spot. Slip stitch to join it all together. Split my yarn. Let me do that. Try that again. Which? No. That happens. Okay. And then you can fasten off. But there you have your square. Okay? Now, do you see what I did there? That's my back. That's why I marked my front. All right, there we go. Okay, so hopefully that helps you with the square decreasing and increasing. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this out so I can reuse it. And then we will talk about the rectangles. Okay, so when you are increasing and decreasing with the rectangles, I went ahead and did up to row four so you didn't have to see me crochet that again. Okay, so on our writtens here, um, we have, of course, start bottom right corner, right down here. And then the next thing that we says is to start decreasing top right corner. All right, and then the next time we will decrease bottom left corner. So, right now I am at row four, which is up this way. So here is my top right corner. All right, so that's where I'm going to start decreasing at the top right corner. All right, now this is the bottom, so I'm not decreasing here yet. So for row five, it's still four pixels. One, two, three, and four. So I'm gonna do my chain three. Five, sorry. I was like, well, that isn't working. Right, so that's my first one.
Okay. So, like it says, you know, now we're going to start decreasing at this top right corner. Right? So if I turn this around, I'm at that top right corner right here. All right? I know that because here's my front because I marked that in the beginning. Like I always do and here's my tail. So, here's my first decrease. So I'm going to attach. All right? Slip stitch over to where my next pixel starts. And then continue down row six. Okay, which is one, two, three, and four. So, chain two, three half doubles. All the way down. that noise. Okay. So I'm finishing the last pixel of row six. Okay. Right here. And now my like my written says start decreasing at the bottom left corner. Okay, and I know that too because remember I can count across if you're not sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now I start decreasing. And then I'll be going up that side. So I'm going to slip stitch, slip stitch. I don't, one, I don't like to slip stitch three here. Also, it, it kind of puffs out a little bit. And it kind of makes it harder to hide. That's just me. Okay. So that's the first pixel of row 7, which is right here after the decreasing bottom left corner. Okay. I'm not going to finish this because you guys get the point now that you just keep decreasing all right, until you get to the end and then it should look like a rectangle. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, don't forget to subscribe and join our email list. You can do that on the website. Um, we have a Facebook group for sharing your 3AM Grace Design projects or questions um, and we also have a Facebook page. Happy crocheting guys!